In the oil and gas industry, marginal developments is the term used to describe fields that are too small to be economic at this time. These marginal fields each contain between 3 and 50 million barrels of oil equivalent. Across the UK continental shelf, it is estimated that recoverable reserves of some 3.4 billion barrels are currently sitting in over 360 marginal developments. The majority of these fields, accounting for some 2.5 billion barrels, could potentially be developed as subsea tiebacks. In the UKCS, we have world-leading experience in completing subsea tiebacks and a recognized methodology for how we design and install drill sites, umbilicals and pipelines. The challenge is that with marginal developments, doing subsea tiebacks this traditional way just isn't economical. We need a new approach. At the Oil & Gas Technology Center, our marginal developments team has been exploring new ways of delivering tiebacks. We have been investigating an approach built on a circular economy model rather than a linear one, where the industry designs for disassembly and reuse at every stage. We call it the tieback of the future, and the study work completed to date has identified six initial areas where new ways of working could have a transformative impact. These six areas are just a beginning. As an industry, we may identify more, but these six alone will not only cut the cost of tiebacks by up to 50%, they will also halve the time taken to deliver them. So let's consider these six ideas and the savings they could offer. In the UKCS, we operate fishing safety zones around subsea installations. Technology now exists to safely monitor fishing activity and safety zones. Removing the need for piling, mattressing and rock dumping at drill sites and potentially also removing the need for pipeline protection methods like trenching and backfilling. The industry currently uses bespoke designs for subsea drill centers. This is costly and inefficient. Moving to a standardized design and layout that connects on a plug-and-play basis, where the focus is on interconnectivity and interoperability of equipment, could deliver significant benefits. All subsea installations currently require an umbilical connection to the host facility. This supplies power, hydraulics, chemicals and communications but it is now possible to replace the umbilical with new technology located at the drill center, delivering all these services on site. This standalone control system could be removed and reused on the next field. As with the umbilical, every subsea well is connected to its host facility by one or more pipelines. With our industry partners, we've been exploring reusable pipelines, both thermoplastic composite pipe and mechanically jointed pipes. Both options could reduce offshore schedules and costs and allow for recovery and reuse. Advanced flow management will help to standardize subsea design and enable a circular economy model. We need new technologies that help us to better understand the flow of hydrocarbons in real time. The use of composite pipe or mechanically jointed pipe could enable technologies such as internally coated pipe and internally heated systems and this could change how we manage hydrocarbon flow to improve operational performance and recovery. Finally, the industry's onshore facilities are currently used for commissioning or decommissioning, but they could easily be used to receive, refurbish and recertify equipment for reuse. This could create new companies and new jobs and transform how subsea decommissioning works. By bringing all this together, we can halve the cost of tiebacks, half the time required to execute them, leave a clean seabed post-operation and make it economical to develop marginal fields. Analysis shows that UKCS marginal fields represent a potential revenue opportunity of £135 billion. This is the size of the prize. Seizing it will require a major shift in thinking and new approaches to collaboration and alignment across our industry but the technology is there. Now is the time to turn this opportunity into reality. Are you ready?